chapter 6, verse number 9. The book of Genesis, chapter number 6, verse number 9. And the Bible says, this is the genealogy of Noah. The Bible says, Noah was a just man, perfect in his generation. There is a vision that says that he was righteous or he was perfect amongst his people. The Bible says, Noah walked with God. He was perfect in his generation and he walked with God. Which means, Noah walked perfectly with God who was above. And Noah walked perfectly with the people in his generation. The Bible says that Noah was a righteous man. And he was blameless amongst the people of his time. Which means there is, there are two things that you must walk in. Number one, you must walk with purity in terms of you and God. And then there is the purity you must walk with. Why? Because when God is blessing you, he uses the same people to release the blessing of God over your life. So Noah did not have an issue with God. And also he didn't have issues with people. So we want to pray this morning and say, oh God, help us so that we may walk in purity with you and also in purity in our daily walk. May I walk in purity even at my workplace. May I walk in purity because God is going to use the same people to bless you. So you must be blameless in your generation and you must be blameless even with God. So we want to pray this morning and say, oh God, let there be purity of heart and also let there be purity between me and my brethren. There has to be a pure relationship between the vertical and the horizontal. You have to be pure between you and God and also between men and men. Why? Because the same God is going to use men to bless you. The same God is going to use men to propel you forward. So we just want to pray for one minute and say, oh God, purify us so that we may stand blameless in the heavens and also blameless on earth. I want you to pray just for one minute. Open your mouth and begin to pray. He was blameless. Rakotomunda living on earth at that time. Irasia Mala Ifrakimando Ubala. May my relationship with God be right and my relationship with men be right. Come on, begin to pray. Irakosomunda. My vertical relationship. Let it be pure. And my horizontal relationships. Let them be pure. Irakuania. Asemando Uda. Creating me. Creating me. Alika Sade. Come on, pray for purity. Matthew 5, verse number 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Come on, begin to pray. Lord, I want to see your face. I want to touch your graces. So that I can live in your days. Malika sad, but it cannot happen outside of purity. So I pray, purify me. Hebrews 12, verse 14. Let us pursue peace and holiness without which no man can see God. I want to be the man that will see God tomorrow. I want to be the woman that will see God tomorrow. As I pray, oh Lord, purify me, wash me, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Genesis 17, 1. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when Abraham was 99 days of prayer shift old. The Bible says, when Abraham was 99, the Lord appeared to him. And he said, walk before me and be blameless. Why? Because if you read your Bible, the following year, which is the following day, the hundredth day, or the hundredth year of Abraham, that's when he gave birth to the blessing called Isaac. But it didn't happen until he purified himself on the 99th day. So we want to pray this morning and saying, oh God, we are standing at the border of the blessing the same way you called Abraham. 
Abraham to purity on the 99th year and you said Abraham be blameless before me Lord as I pray on this 99th day of prayer shift may I be pure and holy before you come on open your mouth just for one minute begin to pray Come on, pray for purity, purity of the heart, Ikatolunda, purity of the hands, Irakotolunda. May I be pure enough to partake of the blessing. May I be pure enough. Isahin, Alika Tolunda, Arika Tolunda. In the 99th year of Abraham's life, he was summoned to holiness. My father, this morning, as I pray in the Holy Ghost, I don't want to miss the hundredth day. I don't want to miss the hundredth day, Lord. Oh God of heaven and earth, purify me, purify me, create in me a clean heart and purify me. Cast me not away. Come on, cry out for one more minute. Ilasi Emando Uadi Ekimanda Irakotolunda Asimakid Arekotolunda Abadia Sob Irakatalanda Isabaniataya in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So as you are preparing yourself to receive the blessing, there is the purity of heart. And then there is the purity of intentions. The intentions have to be pure for God to release the blessing. God does not just bless you, you have been taught simply because you are in trouble. God will bless you because you want to drive his work so that it goes ahead. There is a woman by the name of Hannah. She was crying to the Lord for a child simply because she didn't have one. She was crying for business simply because others had businesses and she did not have a business. She was crying for marriage simply because others had marriages and she did not have a marriage. But the Bible says that in one day she announced her intentions before God. And she said, Lord, if you give me a child, I will give him back to you as a prophet. And he will serve in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. The day that she did that, the Bible says that the man of God appeared on the hundredth day and he said be it unto you according to your faith. This morning we want to pray and say oh God as I pray my marriage is not my own to you it belongs my life is for your glory my destiny is for your glory Romans chapter number 11 verse number 36 the Bible says all things are from him all things are through him and all things are to his glory Ephesians chapter 3 verse number 20 the Bible says now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we may think or ask according to the power that works in us verse 21 it says unto him be glory forever so he does it to us for his glory he empowers us for his glory this morning I want you to pray and say oh God whatever you are about to do in my life physically Physically and spiritually. Every blessing that I'm about to partake from this place, every impartation, every revelation, every manifestation I'm about to receive, it is for your glory. I will marry him for your glory. I will sign those transactions for your glory. Lift up your hand and say, Oh Lord, as I pray in the Holy Ghost, I purify my motives. I purify my motives, my motives for marriage, my motives for money, my motives for contracts, my motives for the blessing is so that you may be glorified as I pray in the Holy Ghost, connecting to the grace that is upon the altar. Bless me, O oh Lord, for your glory. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Oh, 
Lord. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. So bless me for your glory. Empower me for your glory. When Jesus was praying, he said, my father, I thank you for these ones you have given me, for they are yours. You give me money, but it is yours. You give me a blessing, but it is yours. Psalms 23 verse 5. Iratiada in the diatua, Iratolonda, Asimendela, Irakuadi, Adebella tua, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, He anoints my head with oil, and He says, My cup runs over. He didn't say my cup will run over once in a while, but He says, My cup runs over, which means it is present and continuous. When a cup runs over continuously, it means what is in the cup is less than what is overflowing. God wants you to overflow so that your cup feeds another empty cup. God wants you to overflow. When a cup is overflowing and continuously overflowing, what is in the cup is less than what comes through the cup. It comes through the cup to advance the kingdom. It comes through the cup to make sure that others are empowered. The Bible says, I will bless you so that you become intention. The intention is so that you become become a blessing to the weak. The intention is so that you become a blessing to the kingdom. And unless and until your motives for the blessing is purified, you will be a stranger to the prophecy declared over your life. Until and unless your motives are purified, you will be a stranger to the dreams that you have. Until and unless your motives are purified. This morning I want you to pray and say, oh God, I don't want to miss out on these hundred days. Purify my motives. My father, let it be pure. Let my motive for rising. I don't want to rise so that I can break about it. I want to rise so that I may remove the burdens from those that are weak, from those that are sick. My father, bless me so that I may become a blessing as I connect with the men and women of God. It's no longer about me. Let my cup run over to the orphanages. Let my cup run over to Operation Blessing Trust. Let my cup run over. The Bible says out of your belly shall flow rivers. I have only one belly, but I cannot contain the rivers. The rivers have to flow into Joseph for Jesus. The rivers have to flow. I want you to pray this morning and say, oh God, I realize my cup is not just for me and my family. My cup is for the kingdom. My marriage is for the kingdom. My car is for the kingdom. As I pray this morning, connecting to the loins of my father and my mother, bless me so that I may become a blessing. Come on, open your mouth. Begin to pray, clapping your hands. Come on, insist. If you bless me, asiaki Genesis 28 verse 20. If you bless me, I will be a blessing. If you empower me, I will empower others. If you raise me, I will raise others. Oh God of KPM, bless me, oh God. I'm only a cup, but let it run over. Let it run over. I'm only a cup. But let it run over whatever is needed in the kingdom. I'm only a cup, but cause me to run over. Open the floodgates and let it rain on the hundredth day. Open the floodgates and empower me. There are orphans that need me to take care of them. There is a widow that 
that needs this money. That church within them all. Who will build it unless a man has a cup that is running over? Operation Blessing Trust. We will fund it unless it is a man. Sabadi, Irakotum, Irakiati, lift up your hand and say, Oh God, of this altar, as I pray in the Holy Ghost, let my cup run over, let my cup run over into kingdom projects, let my cup run over to empower the weak, let my cup run over as I connect with the man and the woman of God. Oh God of heaven, give me a abundance. Give me a lifting so that I may lift others. Empower me so that I may empower others. Raise me so that I may raise others and bless me so that I may become a blessing to others. Give me the capacity to build an ark for the kingdom so that those that are lost may find refuge. Give me the capacity just like Noah to build an ark Lions cannot build an ark. It takes a Noah that is connected to the men and woman of God. I will build an ark. Lions will come into them. I will build an ark. Sons and daughters of the kingdom, they will find refuge. Use my life to be a blessing in my generation. Come on, open your mouth and begin to cry out. Take advantage of the physical presence of the men and woman of God. Come on, take advantage advantage of the anointing this morning. My life is beyond myself. I'm no longer living for me. I'm no longer building for me. I'm no longer praying for me. My life has to be beyond my own marriage. My life is beyond as I connect with the men and women of God. Oh God of heaven, make me a blessing to the kingdom in the name of Jesus. When Noah was building the ark, him and his family could fit into two rooms. And that could have taken just two weeks of building. But according to the scriptures, Noah built the ark for 75 years. Three months, let's say just three months building for himself. It means the other 74 years plus nine months he was not building for himself. Noah stopped living for himself at some point, and God gave him the capacity. We want to pray, Lord, bless me that I may be a blessing in the kingdom. For more than 74 years, he was building parts that he would never step on, he was building compartments that he would never live in. We need to pray this morning and say, God, if we are going to have that church within the more. There has to be some Noahs who have to arise and become a blessing. I'll stop making money for myself. I'll just make money for myself just for two, three years. I'm settled for the rest of my life. But for the rest of my days, I have to be a blessing to a generation. I want you to lift up your hand and say, oh God, I realize there is grace on this altar that we have given to the men and women of God so that I may be a blessing to my generation generation so that I may be a blessing unto others as I pray in the Holy Ghost. Give me the capacity to be a blessing to my generation. Come on, open them up, begin to pray. My God, this money is not for me. Come on, begin to pray. This contract is not for me. This transaction is not for me. Give me contracts enough to take care of the weak. Give me money enough, my Father, to partner with the work of God as we pray this morning and await the hundredth day. Help us to connect. Help us to connect. Let me be a blessing. Unlock these contracts. 
unlock these breakthroughs that I may be a blessing. I want to build. I want to build. I want to build the kingdom. I want to advance the work. Come on, begin to cry. I want to advance the work. I can see in Lakumbad, Iraka to Amanda, Adeata, Irakoadi, Asemene, in Lakotolonda, Iraku Amanda, Irakati Amanda, Sabadiatola, Irakotolonda, Second Kings two, verse twelve, Ikabari, Asemenda Uda, in Jesus' mighty name. When you are preparing for a blessing. Blessings are given to sons. Blessings are given to sons. It was Abraham who summoned his son Isaac and blessed him. It was Isaac who summoned Isa, Is Isaac. He wanted to bless him. Ended up blessing the other son. The difference between the two of them, Esau and Jacob, is that Esau obeyed, but he was slow in obedience. Jacob obeyed and he was quick. Even if he was the wrong candidate, but he was the quick one, the, the faster one to obey the instruction. We want to pray just for a minute. There are people that have been prophesied. People whose blessings have been declared. But if they are slow to obey instructions that come from this altar, Lord, raise me quickly. Help me to obey quickly so that I may fulfill prophecy. If somebody is delayed, Lord, help me to fulfill it quickly. The intention was Esau, but there was somebody who was quick enough in obedience. Even in obedience, you have to be quick enough so that you don't miss out on your season. So, Lord, as I connect with my hundred US dollars, if there is any man who is slow, grant me the grace to advance the week. We want to pray just for one minute. Just raise your hands and connect with the grace that is upon our Father's altar. And say, Lord, help me to obey quickly. Come on, open your mouth, begin to pray. My God, may I be the son who obeys quickly. Come on, pray for one minute. May I be the daughter who obeys quickly. May the fate of Esau not be my fate. My father tomorrow, Alika there is a battle between Esau and Jacob. My father, as I obey, help me to obey quickly. Go back to second king. A Sibelia, a Rico to Huada, Iraco to Londa, a Sebalata, Iradia Somenda, dear, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Bible says Elijah was about to go with a double portion of the anointing. The son had asked, Give me double portion of your anointing. The Bible says that when Elijah had gone with the chariots, the Bible says, then Elisha saw it and he cried out, my father, my father. Then the chariot, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. The Bible says, so he saw them no more. Then the Bible says, he took his clothes and he tore them into pieces. The following verse. The Bible says, he also took up the mantle. So he never took up the mantle until he cried out, my father, my father. Why? Because mantles are meant for sons. Church attendance is not good enough to receive the blessing. Being near the man of God physically is not good enough to receive the blessing. It is when you see him as your father. That is the moment the mantle fell. And the Bible says he picked it up. The moment he said, my father, my father. I want you to pray for the spirit of sonship. The Bible says, as many as received him, the first power you receive in the kingdom is the power to become a son. 
As many as received him, the Bible says, to them he gave power to be called sons of God. May I be son enough to be blessable. May I be son enough to be liftable. May I be son enough to receive my blessing. We want to pray this morning and say, oh God, we cry out for the spirit of sonship. My father, as we await to receive the blessing, help me to be a son. Help me to be a daughter. Help me to partake of the mantle. Lord, we have torn our away our past churches we have torn apart our past relationships so that we may pick up a blessing for 99 days we have been praying we have been fasting it's now time to pick up the blessing but the blessing is only released to sons and daughters make me son enough to receive the blessing make me daughter enough lift up your hand and says I pray in the Holy Ghost under this corporate anointing. Oh God of heaven, make me son enough. Make me daughter enough to partake of the blessing. Come on, open your mouth, begin to pray. Alika to Amanda, and he cried out, my father, my father, Isahina mal, Ikatia breta, Ofrakina manda, Asebali, Irako Amanda, Asebadu, Irakotolom, Asimani, Irakotolom, Asibalat, Irakatamanda, Adesahina, Ilakuamanda, Ibrako Sahina, Emada, Irakatiamanda, make me son enough, Irakuamba, give me power, my father to become, give me power, my father to say, to stay, my father is son, Ilakotom, in the Bible says, This is my son, in whom I am well pleased, Ikatolomda, hear him, mandates are given. To people that are sons, Alika Sia, Iratomunda, Akimanola, I'm at the border of 100 days. Lord, as I pray, the passport to enter into 100 days, Alika Sia, Ikamando, Lord, my father is sonship, Ikatuabala, Irakotomunda, it is sons that are sendable. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only son, it is sons that are released to rule on earth. It is sons. Ikatolomda. Asipali. Akimandola. Isainamanda. Ikatolomda. Asiaku. Alikatira. Arikatuamba. Efrakila. Orakuamanda. Make me, make me, make me, make me, make me, make me. Come on, pray for one minute. Make me, make me, make me son enough to receive a blessing. You could be new in the church. Make me son enough. You could be old, he lucky man, he rasi, it is sonship, he catolunda, he racotolunda, he rasi amanda, he catolunda, he catia. I've been in church for so long, but make me a son for so long that I may receive of the blessing as you are blessing others. I want to partake. Inheritance is only given to those of the household, he catilla. I want to inherit the blessing. I want to receive the blessing, oh Lord of heaven and earth, Ikatuaba, Asemande, Irakati, Alikatolonda, Adabosadua, Irakotolonda, Asebati, Ikatolonda, Matthew 5, verse 9, Asibalata, Irakotolonda, Amendo Urati, in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, Blessed are the peacemakers. How do you maintain your sonship? The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they are, shall be called the sons of God. So which means sonship is maintained by peacemaking. We want to pray that as sons and daughters, may we live in peace with one another. We are given power to become sons, but how do we maintain that sonship? By maintaining peace with one another. The Bible says that when brethren dwell together in unity, peacemaking, the Bible says there God commands a blessing. We want to pray, a sons, may we live in peace with one another. May there be no strife between us. Let there be love. Let there be unity. A sons of the apostles, if we carry the same spirit, why should we be different from each other? Why should we talk different? It means one of us somewhere is carrying a wrong spirit. 
But we want to pray and say, oh God, give us the unity in the love that will cause the blessing to stay. The Bible says they were praying in one accord. And the Bible says all of a sudden, there was a mighty rushing wind. And the Holy Ghost was seen in the place. We want to pray and say, oh God, help us to be peacemakers in the name of Jesus. Just stretch your hands and pray for one minute as a son and a daughter in the house. Help me, oh God, to be a peacemaker. I want the blessing. I want the blessing to come upon my life. But help me, help us, my father, to be peacemakers. Yamanda, Irakotolonda, a sebadu, a ricati amanda, a licati, a semendo toa, Irakotolonda, a semenda diatua, Irakotolonda, a badia sadiata, Irakotolonda, Isabrakuati, Irabadiatua, a lecotolonda, a sabadiatoa, Job twenty eight, verse seven, Irakuamanda, Ilaka sadia, Irakotomonda, in the name of Jesus. As we pray. Hallelujah. We want to pray for the protection of God upon our lives, upon the blessing that God is pouring upon us, and we want to pray for the protection of God even upon the men and women of God. When a blessing is not protected, it becomes vulnerable. When a blessing is not protected, that blessing at any time can be taken away. So we want to pray as God is blessing us on the hundredth day. We want to pray for protection in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Job 28 verse number 7, there is a path that no bird knows. The Bible says, no, he has the falcon of the eyes seen it. The following verse. The Bible says, the proud lions have not walked on it. We want to pray that, that we may find this path that the evil bird does not know. We want to pray that KPM as God is blessing us. Hide us, O oh Lord, in a path that our enemies cannot monitor us. We want to pray for protection that as God is releasing the blessing, the Bible says there is a path that the evil bird does not know. If I can find that path, my enemy will not see me. My enemies will not touch me. So we want to pray and say, oh God, as you are blessing us, my father, protect KPM. Protect the men and women of God. We want to say, oh God, bless us and protect us. There is a path that the enemy does not know. Neither have the evil lions walked in it. We want to pray and say, oh God, whether the enemy rooms about like a roaring lion. He will never be able to touch us. As you are lifting KPM, protect KPM. As you are lifting us, protect us. As you are blessing us, protect us. Whatever you are giving us is a blessing. The enemy cannot touch it. The enemy cannot see it. The enemy cannot devour it. The Bible says, the Bible says that Lika Somondoloto, Lika Sadia, touch not my anointing anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. The Bible says he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow. We want to pray and say oh Lord this morning my father let there be a path that the evil bird cannot find us. That the evil lions cannot devour the blessing. Come on begin to pray for protection. What you are giving us uh, cannot be taken away from us. Uh, John 15 verse 16. Alika sad irakotolonda adobo sadua irakotolonda. John 15 16. You have not chosen me but I have chosen you. Alikotomonda that you may bear fruit and that your fruit may remain as we pray in the Holy Ghost. Let the blessing remain. Come on begin to pray clapping your hands. Let the blessing remain. Let it remain upon KPM. Let the vehicles remain. Accidents will not find us. There is a path. That the falcon does not 
my father hide us ikatualia asemani irakotolonda and osa duata hide your servant hide your maid servant come on open your mouth and pray alikasia as you bless us on this hundred day arikotu my father hide my father hide likasua my father protect ikatimel irakotolonda john 16 verse 22 you are now in sorrow but i'll see you again and you shall rejoice and your joy no man shall take away from you as we pray in the holy ghost my father this blessing no man shall take away come on begin to pray as you are blessing me no man shall take away as i connect with my hundred us dollars no man shall take away as i connect with my 410 us dollars no man shall take away as i connect with my triple one two sacrifice no man shall take away come on begin to pray whatever you are giving me your word says it my father you reward those that diligently seek after you as you are rewarding me no man shall take away come on begin to pray my nets will not break the bible says that peter found fish but his nets began to break my father as we pray our marriages will not break our churches will not break as we pray our transactions will not break no man shall take away from you as I connect as I connect I connect to protection at their command not only am I connecting with elevation I am connecting with protection I am connecting with protection as you elevate me, protect me, oh God. Make me the Andikaswa, Alisadi. Make me the apple of your eye. Ikatia Lad, Isakimel. Go before us, Lord. Make the cooker pass straight as we connect with the men and women of God. My Father, in this season, Alika Tolom, Alika Sadia, First Timothy 1 18, Alika 2, Areka Tiabal, Asimandel, Iraku Adi. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Timothy, my son, according to the prophecy that was given to you previously, it's a previous prophecy. The Bible says concerning you that by them you wage a good warfare. When a prophecy is, when the blessing is a prophecy, or when the blessing is a promise, it will require you to pray. When your blessing or a prophecy is in the future, I will bless you. I will make you. When the prophecy is in the future, you need to pray. And number two, you need to be patient. We want to pray for these two strengths. Give me the grace to pray and give me the grace to, to be patient. May I be patient enough until I receive my blessing. May I be patient enough until I am rewarded. Lord, help me not to be moved. The Bible says, in all my days, I will wait until my change comes. Change does not come because you wish for it. Change comes because you have waited for it. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Renewal of strength comes upon waiting men. And waiting men are praying men. Waiting men are giving men. Waiting men are consistent men. So I want you to pray just for a few minutes and say, Lord, may the grace that is upon the house, the grace to pray and the grace to be patient, let it come upon me. I will patiently wait for my marriage to come. I will patiently wait. The promise came when Abraham was 75, but he had to wait for 25 years until he became a father of one, and he had to wait for another thousand years before he became a father of many nations. He carried a promise, but he died a father of one. The promise was fulfilled way after he was dead, but he was patient enough to wait. Lord, help me to wait. Help me to wait for my car. I will not compromise. I will not sell out my body. I will not
not go to another church. Help me to wait and help me to pray. Come on, open your mouth, begin to pray. Alisa Niamanda, Isakina Mandelia, Galatians 6, verse 9. Do not be weary in well doing, for if you are not weary, you will reap. Ikatolomna, Asiaku, help me to wait. Akimalada, Irakotolomna, I don't mind waiting for you, Lord. Isaiah, Akimalia, Arikotolomna, Adiasaia, Irakotolomna, I want the blessing that is of the Lord. I want the marriage that is of the Lord. I want a manifestation that is of the Lord. I command here, Isaiah, Malla, Irakuamanda, Adoko Sadia, Nalikatu, Arikatu Amanda, Adiasomia, Arikotolomna, Asiakunda, Adadia, Abalia, Osaina, my heart, Ikatomba, be encouraged, Iratu, it's 99 days, just one more day to go, my spirit, be encouraged, Ilaku, Asiakumba, Adiatola, and then David, encourage himself in the Lord, Isaina, Irakotomba, spirit or spirit, be encouraged, Ikatolomna, 99 days, you have pushed, 99 offerings, you have given, Irakotolomna, Asadiatola, Irakumbala, spirit or spirit, be encouraged, one more day to go, Ilaku, Asiakumba, Adiato, Alikati, we are at the border of the blessing, it's no time to give up, give me strength, come on, begin to pray, pray for strength, Ikatila, if you are weary in the day of battle, your strength is small, my strength will not be small, Alikati, I will continue, Iraki, Alikasi, I will not faint, Ilakumba, I will not faint, Irakumbala, Alika Sada, hundred days and beyond, Akifradi, Aseminda, Ilakuabal, Iratolonda, Disimbise Zirokwazo, Disikere Pasipano, Lord, give me strength. Come on, begin to pray for strength, the strength to hold on, the strength to move on, the strength to keep on connecting. May I stay connected, Ilakuali, Elakimande, Iratolonda, Isaina, Elikakua. It's not time to give up. It's not time to leave church. It's not time. Alika Tola, 99 days and counting. Iraki, Iratumba, give me strength. Give me strength. Give me strength. Come on, begin to pray for our father and mother. Oh, Lord of heaven, give them strength. Ilakumba, Asibali, Psalms 92.10, Irakotolomda, but my own, you have exalted like the one of a unicorn. I have been anointed with fresh oil. Come on, begin to pray for fresh oil over KPM. Begin to pray for fresh oil. We are at the border in Lakotom of 100 days as we connect with our offerings, as we connect with our 100 US dollars, as we connect Alikasa and Monday with our 410, as we connect with our triple one, two seeds. Oh, God of heaven. Ilaki, we pray for fresh oil. Come on, begin to pray for fresh oil. Something new in our lives. Do something new on the hundredth day. Do something new in my marriage. Something new over KPM. Something new I cannot do without you. We cannot decide without you. As we pray this morning, we are praying for a new thing. Your word says it. Behold, I do. A new thing, Alikasi. Do a new thing, Lord. Do a new thing of a KPM. Do a new thing. We are at the border of 100 days. Ikatolonda on this landmark called 100 days. Help us, Lord. Asimandiataya, Adiakondela, Irakatala, Iraduatua, Inedia, Irakotolonda. Come on, begin to pray for your connection this morning. Help me to connect. Help me to receive Ariatu Adabadia and the dear Irakua Irade in the dear Irato Iabala in the Lia Asaba Emandua Irakuata Alicatia in the dear Arocoto in the diata Iradiata Asemenda Iratua in the dear Iradiata 
ikapaya indoloda asabuata emendoloda. Hallelujah. Come on, let's appreciate the man of God. <laughs>